low energy levels for this one people I apologize I cannot keep it up all the time I am completely screwed it's been over a week now I've had this dodgy stomach every time I eat it's, just, it's flaring up again I get stomach cramps and all sorts it's been over a week now ever since I ate that jelly at that bloody market Good morning from Araquipa. Quick bite for breakfast, and then we'll go and have a look around. Salad. Where's the baked beans? All right, Araquipa. Walking through quite a run-down bit at the moment. I don't know where Nat's taking us. <laughs> where are we going, Nat? Right, I read this random blog that said to go to San Lorenzo, which is the oldest neighbourhood in Arequipa, so... Is that where that, we are? Yeah, something like that, and then you cross the river and you get to see like a viewpoint where you see the volcano in the background, so... Yeah, look down here. Down here? It's quite run down, but it might just look run down because it's so old, so... If this is the old oldest area in the whole town, then... Um, that could be its saving grace. Through the old streets, trying to turn back the clock to the days of old. Back to the days when all the things we knew were made ago. Okay. We actually, after a little bit of research, find ourselves in San Lorenzo. This is the oldest area in Arequipa. Arequipa, however you want to say it. It looks like our equipper to me. Uh, uh, we have to tuck right here. Or we'll should we go down this uh, road? Right? Yeah. All right. Well, so where I said to go earlier? Yeah, or well, should we just go down this road first? This is San Lorenzo. No, we can keep going. These roads date back to 1540. So they are really old. So it's not just a rundown area. It's actually proper old, so yeah. I suppose it has its own charm. It looks a bit dirty, like a bit old. The buildings are actually made with volcanic rock. Silla, Sia, it's called. And that's why they're all white. It's also why it's nicknamed the White City. Although there are some people trying to change that for some reason. You can see from the actual architecture, look at it, how it's made. It's not smooth. Arrowkeeper. Arrowquipper. I'm telling you now, there are all these blogs on that online telling you you can spend two weeks here. Doing what? We've been walking around all day. There is nothing going on. There is nothing interesting for me to even show you guys about this place. Nat's been taking me around to all these bloody tourist traps. It's just, just a lot of nothing really. It's just a lot of nothing. It's just like walking around in a in a city at home. They've got the old town, which is pretty cool, you know, they've got all the white buildings, but I don't know what you're gonna do for two weeks here. It's, this, basically, the only reason people come here usually is because it is the stepping stone. You need to come here to get your transport to go to Coca Canyon, where the big Andean condors are and the big lands, like cool landscapes and stuff. It's where we're going, basically. It's why we're here. So, long story short, now we're at some alpaca place where you can pet alpacas. Well, I told you, tourist trap places, but apparently it's all, it's all free. You just leave a tip. Free entrance. Free entrance. Look at it. All this. All this and you don't even have to pay anything. <laughs> when I start this. He acquired his first pieces and started oh, so, textile. Alright. So it's a llama museum. Alpaca. Alpaca museum. Our keeper is the perfect example of somewhere you go. It's just a lot of nothing really going on. It's like walking through my hometown at home. 
there's nothing going on on the streets, you know. When you get involved in a hustle and bustle, there's just none of that here. It's very, like, bland. I think, anyway. I don't know what you're going to do for two weeks. This is our first day here. I'm just done. I just want to go to Colca Canyon now and find a massive bird. Um, yeah, the cool thing was that museum. The little Inca girl. They reckon she was about 12, 13 years old. And she was sacrificed for the gods up on the... Up, like this, There's a few volcanoes around here, hence why there's all the buildings made with from the uh, volcanic ash. All the volcanoes around here, the big one is uh, Misty, Volcano Misty. And they basically found these remains up there after an earthquake and uh, they found eight children buried up there. All had been hit on the head with uh, like a weapon they used to use back in the day. It was like a, a, a jagged stone. And that was actually quite interesting because they've actually got one of the children there preserved in like a triple glass ice incubator thing and you know she's in the fetal position how she was when she was killed and what they did is they used to use like we had this drink yesterday called the purple girl and uh it's basically they used to make her an alcoholic drink out version of it and drink it and it would make them really drowsy and then they would basically clock them over the head and end them and then bury them up there on the volcano as like an offering to the gods and that was kind of cool that um she's still there with with her skin on and everything like it's and teeth and the lot like it's, it's pretty mad but uh that was the most interesting thing we've done here um i don't know what that museum was called to be honest now what was that museum called it was called it kind of gives you just a big um insight into how the incas lived with their sacrifices and the way they worship their gods and the things they used to make and offer to the gods and bury it all up in the on the volcano as like a you know an, an, as a uh, a sacred um ritual that museum is called Mar museo santorios andinos uh i'll put it on the screen it's probably easier <laughs> i probably said that completely wrong but yeah that is um that's the most interesting thing we've done here, and I can't find anything else that is even worth doing. This is kind of cool, actually. The nunnery is the main reason. Oh, and the nunnery. And the nunnery. But I don't think I don't think they'll let me in. We'll go there It'll be too, too tempting for the nuns. Um, it's very soft. Yeah. Well, they're well soft. <laughs> They're proper soft. Nice Fall asleep on it. Yeah, that is a dense fur. Hello, mate. I don't know if you've ever seen a llama up close, but look at their toes. Like some sort of sheep, bird, camel hybrid. It's like candy floss. Right, this is Misty Volcano, right? That's how big it, this is how big it is. It's like 6,000 meters above sea level. Right up here is where they buried the girl, the, the children. Right on the top. Because it's so high up and it's freezing cold up there, it's iced. That's why the, the bodies were all pretty much very well preserved, apart from a few. I'm so tired. Is not good and I met somebody else who's got the same thing as me it's like one day you feel fine for about an afternoon and then you just feel shit for days <sighs> it's not good it has not been good it's not enjoyable it looks like it's gonna rain as well all right the deal with this place is you basically go in there you can pet the alpacas and stuff then you've got the room with all the wool and all that sort of jazz where they show you how it's made and that, and then they show you the end products and try and sell you alpaca products which are quite expensive really but you can go in there and pet the alpacas for free which i thought was going to be a you know oh i've got an alpaca here come and uh, come and stroke it just just for a fee like however much you think and then you always end up getting into a massive argument with them <laughs> Very touristy. Uh, we found the monastery by accident. It looks we pretty if you have to touristy. It's 45 though. 45 solids. Yeah. Is it even legit? What is it? What's the deal with it? It's just probably. It sounds like a tourist trap to me. It sounds like shit. 
We've actually found a really nice area just by accident. One thing that is good in this place is this. It's called queso helado. It's a. Um, it basically translates to cheese ice cream, but it's not made of cheese. It's made of, like condensed milk and milk and cinnamon egg. and egg. Honey. It's very nice. It is very nice. It's like almost addictively. It's, it's actually addictively nice. It's very nice. My second one in a little, little while. Five solos. This was. It's not bad. It's nice. Like this. This area is nice. It, it's, it's quite nice to walk around. It kind of feels a bit European. But like in terms, it's not. It hasn't got that same fun as like I don't know, like Cusco. You've got shit going on all over the place. You know, in in a lot of the cities in South America, in South uh, Asia. A lot of cities in Southeast Asia, you've just got stuff going on everywhere. India, just in the city, there's just people doing things everywhere. Here, it's just a bit like, do you know what I mean? It's just a bit bland. It's not really very fun to walk around. It doesn't help that I'm not feeling very well because um, I'm just in a particularly bad mood anyway, but here we are. <laughs> oh. Nat's, Nat's really enjoying it here. But what are you gonna do for two weeks? Nah. So she's enjoying it here because it's, you know what I mean, like look at it, it's quite nice. Most of it's like this, most of the old town area is like this, but it's quite a big city, it's very built up. So around the old town is very just like normal city. But yeah, low energy levels for this one people. I apologize, I cannot keep it up all the time. Do you see what I mean? Very European, feels a bit like Dubrovnik in Croatia. Done it, or um, or um, Rome, or yeah, it feels it feels very European. It's the white walls. It's, that's what it's all it is. And the restaurants and cafes all over the place, just like Europe. Just a lot of outdoor sitting down. It's it's nice. It's it's nice. It's just a bit boring. I'm just not in the right frame of mind for this, basically.